Do you take regular naps? I sure do. Well, apparently it may not be good for your health. This makes me so sad. A new study published this week in an American Heart Association journal found frequent napping is linked to a 12% higher risk of developing high blood pressure. Napping is also associated with a 24% higher risk of having a stroke. One clinical psychologist who studies sleep says while napping isn't harmful in itself, it could be an indication of poor sleep at night, which is associated with higher health risks. So I guess that part makes me feel just a little bit better. Maybe we can counteract our poor sleep by hitting the gym a little bit longer. Another new study out this week in an American Heart Association journal shows people who exercise more may live longer. It's very interesting. Nine health expert Dr. Pyle Coley is here with us. So we know exercise is good for us, but what did this study specifically find? Uh, Corey, the study was really eye-opening for me as a cardiologist because for decades I have been telling people to exercise 150 minutes a week. Okay. But what it found was that people who did two to four times more exercise than that actually had a much lower chance of dying. It's so interesting because I always hear like 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, but this is double that pretty much, right? Right, so 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise or 15 minutes of high intensity, that's what we had been saying. But now really two to four times more might be better. One of the, the concerns we've had for a long time is that there is a U-shaped relationship with exercise. So too little is bad mm -hmm. and too much could potentially also be bad because it can cause electrical problems and arrhythmias and, and heart failure, other types of problems. But this study really starts to beg the question of whether we got it wrong and we really ought to be leaning more to the too much exercise. It's so it's it's so interesting because 30 minutes a day, a lot of people don't even get that, but we're talking about 60 minutes. And does it matter what type of activity? It does matter. So 60 minutes of moderate intensity exercise okay. is what they're saying, which means biking, jogging, running, dancing, or 30 minutes of high intensity, which is really getting that heart rate up. And sometimes what, for example, for me might be moderate intensity might be different than yeah. what it is for you based on our baseline level of fitness. Right. So you really want to sort of titrate your exercise to your heart rate, measure your heart rate, and if you're 85% or higher of your age predicted heart rate, that means you're in a high intensity zone. And if okay. you're in the 60 to 85%, you're in the moderate intensity zone. So when we talk about 30 minutes a day, that's kind of like the bare minimum to like kind of lead a healthy lifestyle. But when we're talking about 60 minutes or double that, this is to expand your lifespan, right? Yeah, it's got a 22% lower risk of mortality, which wow. is really substantial. And, and we're not talking about walking the dog. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about going to the grocery store. We're talking about really something that gets your heart rate up. Now, the good news is you don't have to do it all at once. So you could do, you know, 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at lunchtime, 20 minutes, you know, in the evening, however your day you want to break it up, but really start pushing that on envelope of more is better. This is also really good, I think, to get people exercising more, get people out more because our obesity rate is so high as well. I mean, this is talking about better lifestyle, longer life, you know, just healthier in general. Well, not just obesity. So, of course, we look better. We feel better. Mm -hmm. So our mental health is much better yeah. with more exercise, but also risks of conditions like hypertension or high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, sleep apnea, all the other things that lead to heart disease as well, all get better when you maintain, you know, high level of, of activity and healthy body weight. It's a very interesting study. We've got to get out and move. That's right. Dr. Coley, We're going to hit you. the gym after this. That's right. <laughs> There's no way I would do 20, 20, 20. I just got to like do it do all the whole hours, hour. You know? yeah. <laughs> Mama gets an hour, it's just got to be that one time a day. Very cool. Thank you so much for coming in.